All right, oh, well, here we go. <clears throat> Sleft. And let's see if that's actually his tag. We're about to find out now. Small left. Oh, okay. All right, so small left versus Choco Taco. Let's get into it right here. Yo. A matchup that I did not expect to see at all, Qatar. Yeah, especially Lucas in top 64 yeah. or top, you know, 512. <laughs> Winner's side <laughs> was not expecting to see that. Top 128, baby. That's the three. Okay, try to get that absorbed. Okay, I don't know about that approach. Yeah, right. Of course, whenever you see Lucas is on stage, you usually expect them to be zoning with the PK fire uh, from a great distance. And it, it's unfortunate, though, that, you know, he may not have the same down throw that he had before in Smash 4. Mm -hmm. But the character still has some pretty potent tools. Uh -oh, and uh -oh. that's one of them. That yeah. could KO you at like 50, man. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Like, I know it takes a while for it to come out, but very scary. Like, people don't even understand, um, you know, how it works nowadays, especially because you almost never see Lucas. And it feels like it's Ness. But Ness's one's like almost just as strong too, if not just as strong. All right, Squirtle trying to get in. I feel like Squirtle might, I don't know if that's the answer. Squirtle dies really early. And he's good at getting combos at low percent, but what's he gonna do at these higher percents? He's about to get back thrown. It's funny, you know, looking at like Lucas, right? It kind of reminds me of old school Falco, <laughs> right? Short hop laser. Oh, Yo, wow, 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 nice. Wow, he's just bad at that. Okay, I like that, that's clean. Yeah, dude. Uh, uh, I'm trying to see if is Nair a thing that Luc Lucas is like to uh, try to lead in with. Let me see. Okay, hopping around. Um, I feel like people like to use Nair, but not as much in this game. I don't yeah, see that right? much Nair. Yeah. I just don't see that much Lucas in general. Like it's something you True. see on Elite Smash, but rarely yeah. ever see a Whoa! Okay, okay. All That's right. something I never saw before. <laughs> Imagine getting hit by that. Right. <laughs> the way it sounds. Is there, is there? Getting hit by Lucas's snake. I don't know why it's so long. Hey. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right, leave All him right. alone. He's a baby boy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right, that down air, he's looking for that down air, but it's going to be a little hard to edge guard Lucas whenever he gets really close to the ledge because he can just tether. So yeah. next stop coming up, Lucas feeling himself. Okay. Uh, yeah, this I, one of my favorite things so far with regard to Chaco Taco is just like his mid-range gameplay, right? He tries yeah. not to get too close. He forces you to have to commit with his PK fire, his Zare spacing. He's, this is usually some of the, some of the more kind of like frustrating styles for people to have to deal with because yeah. you have way less room for error as long as you just stay back like that, you know? Yeah. The moment you get in close, you could probably mess up your approach and then all of a sudden you get bodied. So Dude, not, I, not I, to say that zoning doesn't have skill. Dude, I don't even know what I would think if I was fighting against a Lucas and every time I threw out the side B yeah. from Ivysaur, it got batted backwards. Like... Who actually uses that as a reflector? Exactly. This guy's done it like three times already. Charizard can get a surprise KO right about now. I'm waiting to see. I want to see the side B. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. That back no. here? No. Ooh. And up, up throw. throw. Yes, ooh. sir. Yeah, he's been really good at just getting the... Using whatever he's in close range. Down tilt comes out so fast. Very fast. So it's like really hard to deal with. Yeah. Oh, cool. let's see if um, we can be able to get those combos again. I'm just not seeing combos coming out from Squirtle. Usually I'm expecting to see like a grab to, you know, down throw into something. But even when Squirtle gets close, I'm not seeing that grab. I'm looking forward to see. I mean, I just feel like he's been, this Lucas has really good defense. Oh, very you know? good defense. Look at this. Like he's trying to play, but he can't. Wow. Okay. That's side B. One of the only ways he's able to get in. And I did see him go for a grab right there, but it looks like. I, yeah. Wow. He's just getting knocked away, dude. He wants, he's like, can I play? This he's guy like, will just nip you. Yeah, he won't I, even like fully combo. He was just like, okay. Oh my gosh. He actually messed up the jab block combo and he still got the down smash, but not high enough percent for it to work. Cannot eat him just yet. 126 now might be able to. Yeah, but that Zare just helped him even after getting sprayed away. Mm -hmm. okay. second. Ooh, oh, he tried to go for it all right there. <laughs> I'm not too sure what he could really do from a trump. I know he could get a back air. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Wow. That was an amazing air dodge. I actually thought you went a little too low to be able to grab the ledge back throw. Okay, all right. Down throw that. working out really well. Okay, now's your chance, Squirtle. Oh, what all are you right, going to do here? Now's your chance to die. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, we almost got a grab again. I'm still looking out for that grab from Squirtle. He's trying, but you saw Lucas, man. He got that escape plan. Oh, my gosh. Almost gets in. Yo, this reminds me of Brawl. Back in the old days of Brawl, Lucas, he gave yeah. higher. He gave higher. He's like a Pokemon. <laughs> Okay. Oh, he's keeping it in the air. Some grabs coming out. That, so I like the fact that he tried to use withdraw to get in. And it looks like right here, Chaco Taco's trying to end it. Okay, up B. Yeah. All right, he actually almost had that. He might be able uh -oh. to do this up B again. Yo, Whoa. he went that far. That was like 76%. Okay, a famous again. top player said that Ivysaur is trash. How? <laughs> if yeah, you can KO know. somebody at 76, like, nah. That down there, come on. They nerfed it. It's still a huge problem. Watch. 
Oh, yeah, he's almost went for it. See that? All right, Choco Taco. We should have got Vanilla. Yeah. Let's see, here we go. Oh, my Miss. goodness. Yo, wow. down tilt F. Oh, my God. Down tilt forward tilt actually giving that KO right there. Choco was, Taco taking the first game. That was beautiful. Good stuff right there by Choco Taco. There's been a lot of players with Taco in the name. You know, I like tacos and everything. You already know I go to Mexico like every every other day. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> Choco Taco, I never had one of those. Have you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just ready to be curious. <laughs> Let's see um, what's going to happen there. Lucas barely able to win that. Maybe he has, like, some issues KOing. I feel like I'm not seeing too many KO setups coming out. Like, I see him doing a lot to get damage on his opponent, you know, but not too much after. Gonna find out. I wonder what part of winner's bracket this is. I'm assuming we're getting, like, all the winner's bracket matches for, you know, top 512. But, yeah. Oh, okay, we're doing a uh, music counter pick. Okay. I love seeing uh, that. You know me, man. I'm a big fan of that stuff, too. I, ne <coughs> I never do it. I I'm happy to see people do it, but I never do music counter pick ever. <laughs> all right, well, why is that? Dude, I don't know. Half the time I can't even hear the music when I'm playing. Now, you know how like if you play on a setup, you just you don't hear anything. But you can put in headphones. I like, do love that they have that here. All right, so here we go. Game number two. All right, some crazy uh, noises are happening over there. I think it's like a Bowser and a Joker. <laughs> it's not Leo, but the crowd is screaming. Here All we right, go. Here we go. Okay, here's the grab, but that was kind of an interesting throw. To yeah, throw right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, that's not the throw Squirtle usually does, right? Yeah, I usually expect down throw. Yeah. Not up. It's crazy because he finally got the grab, and then he does a different <laughs> throw. I don't know. Maybe it's something with Lucas's weight, but wasn't able to catch him. I definitely see left in. Uh, Ooh. Uh, uh, okay. All right. Go. Wow. Barely able to like make it. Yeah, I didn't think he was going to catch it. All right. Charizard, very strong character. I feel like Charizard works out really well versus Lucas because Lucas has trouble making it back. Just go for it. There it goes. Yep. I like how he just went for it. Just, just try it out. You never know. Really good timing, too. All right. Small left right now. Looking for that F tilt into grab. Mm -hmm. Okay. Please. Nice. Way more hits. No, no, no chance for Chaco Taco to PK fire to, to zone. He's right. Okay, wait. It's coming. I feel like he's <laughs> putting way more pressure now on Chaco Taco. He has to. He has to maximize off of these big openings. Yeah, especially since like the last four attacks he's done are PK fire. It's like, if you can just, just kind of jump over it, you're fine. But again, having Squirtle at high percent like that is very risky because you can just get KO'd. But I understand since you know Chaco Taco is at low percent. And exactly. Squirtle back out at this percent. I feel like nowadays the Pokemon trainer just depends on what you want to do. Like, do you want to play this character? It's not all about, like, oh, what's supposed to work. It's like, who do you want to play as? Who do you feel most comfortable? Especially in the matchup. Yep. Okay. Uh, uh, didn't get a punish right there on the normal getup, probably. Or well, the getup attack. Probably didn't see it coming. All right, PK fire again. Okay, back and forth. Yeah, man. It, it looks like... Yeah, it looks like Choco Taco right now has a pretty good... Well, he was doing a pretty good job on zoning, but I feel like Small Left now oh is using platforms to get inside, you know? Like, before, we see a lot of PK fire from center stage. Small Left will full jump over. There it is again. Wow, that, that was beautiful, by the way. That up B was below 100%. And I liked how he went for that just in case. At least in that, he might not be able to get KO'd at all, even if he gets hit by it. Good choice. Ooh! Look for that grab. Are we going to see an up throw again? Let's find out. Okay, one back no. here. Damn, he interrupted him big time. There's the right throw. Yeah, Chaco. Chaco's having a bit of a tough time now. Okay, I like that back throw. Like, uh, he's not even trying to go for the combos anymore. Right. He's past that percent, and he does have some rage on him, but just taking him off the stage. Because he knows that last time he got that down smash off with the Charizard, he's like, let me just throw him off, see what happens. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Especially if they're too far. <clears throat> like, when he got the down smash, it was because he was too far to Zare, right? Oh, my goodness. Oh! What happened? So he stepped on the withdrawal. It put the young turtle on his back. It almost looked like he was playing Mario and stepped on a Koopa Troopa. Yeah, you know? like that. He was in super lag. Props to, <laughs> you know, um, our boy Chaco Taco for seeing that potential or seeing that happen and knowing exactly what to do to punish. Other people might not have known that he would have been in that much, like, you know, turtle trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so good stuff for that. And he's bringing it back really hard. Uh-oh. Well, he tried to end it, but nice interrupt with the Razor Leaf. Good defense by Chaco Taco. Not trying to get grabbed. The battle for center stage is on here. Oh, yes. Oh, he uh -oh. jumped a little PK bit too fire. high. PK fire again. Ooh, oh, there it is. Are no. you freaking serious, Kotaro? He actually hit him. Are oh! 
And wow. we're both living. Okay, can he make it back? It's there, yeah. The 0 4 throw? And I don't know. now! Wow. Okay. Almost looked like he could have been able to live that. Just barely gets KO'd. Yep, small left is happy now. All right, Taco, so Taco not too happy about that, but he's going to bring it back um, from the looks of things with his confidence. But I will have to say, you know, it's any man's game looking at the way things are going. Game one looked way better for Taco Taco, right? Small left looked like he just didn't understand how to deal with the zoning every time he saw, every time he wanted to play, he was half a stage away. Then game two, all of a sudden, started realizing, hey, actually, let's go back to Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon Stadium literally gives him an opportunity to get in easily on people that like to zone. How? Waiting for them to use their zoning option, preempting it, and then the moment you see it reacting, uh, and then just jumping over, right? Using full jump, using the platforms. And when he used that, all of a sudden, Chaco Taco had to mix up the way he played, and he was becoming more defensive and having to react to how uh, small left was reacting to his zoning. So now that both players understand what both are trying to do, it's going to make game three very interesting. Yeah, I, I do agree with that. I do think that um, Squirt just realized he has to go in because if he just goes in, he can not have to deal with that PK fire. And it's kind of easy to block that attack in this game for some reason. I feel like in old games it was harder. Like, it, it's hard to react to. But in this game, boom. And there we go. We got the down throw. Okay, he's, he's taking out the full power now. Yes, sir. Wow. Almost makes me feel like that up throw was a mistake. Yeah. At that time. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you grab and you might buffer something, especially in this game, considering how long uh, the buffer thing is out. Yeah. All right, we'll see. All right. All right. The zoning's back again. And now there the grabs. He's getting them. He blocks. He blocks the PK fire. Runs up and blocks again, then waits to get his opening. Okay, that was clean right there. I like how he just hopped around to be able to run in and get that grab. Put a lot of pressure. And again, it's another situation where Lucas, whenever you just get in on him, what's he going to do? Down there? Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh. That was a very fast one. Yeah, he wanted a down air there. One more, one more. Yo, down air, down air, down air. Oh my goodness. Still a great hitbox to this day. Remember, Ivy Swords trash. <laughs> How? Uh, I, I don't believe it. Yeah, I don't believe it either. You know what? I think he could just combo off of any of his throws, man. Maybe yeah. he messed up the timing. That is true. I, I just would expect to see down throw. It could be because of the rage that he currently has. Where he's like, let me up throw, or maybe he just feels more comfortable with up throw. It's easier to connect with. All right. Nice. That hits on the ledge. Right? I did not know that. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, clean. Okay. Messing around on how he's going to grab oh, the ledge dang. to the point of not grabbing it. <laughs> Unfortunate right there. Mm. But starting off again with Squirtle coming through with that water gun to keep to push. Lucas actually towards the edge so he can corner him easier. There's again. Trying to use that withdrawal, but last time we saw him using Kataro, he kind of got stepped on and was yep. in a bad position. Oh my goodness gracious, he how did he do so much in such right? a short period of time? <laughs> uh oh, I don't know about that. All right, not going to get a real hard punish though. And there it goes again, he's just keeps F smashing that side B. I'm surprised how he reacts. Yeah, like, time to do that. Maybe he just sees it coming. Like, there's like a certain distance away when Ivysaur is, you just know he's going to probably do yeah. side B. All right. I'm going to see a KO attack come out from Lucas. Um, I don't know if you, you know about this, but the Nexus special is when he just up smashes. I want to see that. <laughs> it's is like, that from Brawl? Uh, it's from Brawl Smash 4 too, where you just kind of up smash and there's like a little bit of invincibility. Uh, so you can just kind of do it sometimes. All right, coming back right now. Chaco Taco with the delay in the recovery. Doesn't want to get there. Nice. I love the Zare right there. Very good tool that Sakurai kept. What? Oh my goodness, how did that? Oh, okay. That run up so to fast, Ezo, Kataro. Yes. Such good range, too. Isn't it crazy that um, Charizard actually runs the fastest of all the Pokemon? Right? The biggest Pokemon? I mean, he's so big, too. You might as yeah. well give him some, some good, right? All right? I'm trying to see that up throw again, but taking out Ivy, I feel like this is the better choice because Ivy can live through the back throw. Up air? I have not seen, like, one up air come out from him. Yeah, he looked like he was afraid to challenge a down air that could come out from Ivysaur. Ooh, a whole bunch of neutral airs right there. Yeah. Okay, clean. Okay, I saw the grab he was going for. That back throw would have most likely KO'd if Lucas had gotten it. Look for one more. Oh my gosh, that was risky. That was risky. He's going to be KO'd from that. Yep, there it is. That back throw incredibly strong. One stock of PC in the last game between these two players. And it looks like small left. He's trying his best to maintain this lead. You already see, saw what he was able to do. Wow. Looking like Rob the way he was just down to. Oh my Oh, goodness. wait. He's alive. He's alive. Okay, yeah, especially with Ivysaur recovery, too. Yeah, props to Ivysaur's recovery being able to do that. Okay. No forward okay. air coming out. But it's going to change them. All right, now the percent's looking pretty much even. 
I'd say a little bit in Ivysaur's favor because he gets uh, KOs a lot earlier. At least um, the players themselves, the up B, you gotta watch out for that. Okay. Oh, and okay. up air. Are you kidding? There it is. The down there up air special right there on the platform, and it looks like Choco Taco is not happy about that one. Whenever, oh, oh man. Yeah, that's what happens when you're facing off against Ivysaur. You have to be careful near the, you have to be careful near the edge. All right. I know. mean, uh, near the platform, dude. All right. You can almost visually see him say, darn it. You know, on that one. Yeah, a you know, rough situation for him. Well, but, let me you know. tell you what happened, man. Whenever you're facing off against Tweak, I mean, I saw Tweak versus MK Leo. Whenever MK Leo decided to go near Tweak and Tweak was hanging out on the platforms, you know, to do, 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 do. Hey, what are you doing on the platform there, buddy? Down there. Up, up there, yeah. Yeah, right? The crazy thing is that down there hitting a way where Lucas didn't even pop up that much. So I felt like the up air wouldn't even hit and it somehow hit. Like, he could have kind of did something. You know, it wasn't like a combo. So, but, you know, it's a, it's a little unfortunate. You know, hopefully Choco Taco will be able to bring bring it back, you know, become Vanilla Taco and Lucas Bracket because there is still a Lucas Bracket happening. And, you know, we're going to see how far he can get. Yeah, we'll see, man. Best of luck to him, of course. That was, that was definitely a game, man. Like, I can't believe how he was able to just switch it up so much after seeing how in the beginning, first game, it looked like he had a firm download, a firm amount of control on how Choco Taco, um, Small left wanted to play, yeah. but small left <clears throat> made the necessary changes, and boom, all, all right. of a sudden he was able to do it. Yeah, he was able to do it, and hopefully we'll see him do it again. But we are going to be taking a small break, and we'll be back. So stay tuned for some more top five twelve. I still don't know what number it is. But top one twenty eight action. Top one twenty eight. Yeah, top one twenty eight action. Stay tuned. We'll be right back, guys. <laughs> 